This bro freaking pulling wheelies on. Ten out of ten. E. Welcome back, everybody, to another video here in some Forza Motorsports Seven. Yes, it has been quite a while since the last Forza Seven video. But we are hack, ha we are we are hack. Yes, yes, ma'am. Now with the release of Need for Speed Payback, I really haven't been uh, playing Forza, Forza much, but we are back to play some Forza. Before we go any further in this video, I must give myself the cheeky freaking plug. I have made these two guys here, and there is another one. I, I <laughs> go and download these boys for the Super Trofeos. Oh, oh, I remember. I did also make one for the Huracan that was quite a while ago, actually. And uh, I don't know if I actually told you guys, but there's one for the Huracan Super Trofeo as well as both Giardo Super Trofeos. Anyways, boys, in today's video, we will be building an extremely special drag car. This boy is, it's honestly insane. Not, not in game, in real life. The Dodge, but what? Where am I going? The Dodge Viper is honestly like an insane car all around really. So if you don't know anything about the Dodge Viper, essentially this particular model here, the 2016 ACR, destroyed 13 track records all around the world. It ran the Nürburgring in just under 7 minutes on its first lap. On its first lap, and this is a stick car. Running the ACR around the Nürburgring was a crowdfunded campaign, and unfortunately the car ended up going off of the uh, track and wrecked after the first lap, and it ran under 7. So this could quite possibly be faster than a GT2 RS, uh, but we will never know, will we? We do have a couple generations of Vipers, we have an 08 ACR, please, please stop. We have the 99 Viper as well, and that is under the Dodge category. If we head over to SRT over here, we do have two more Vipers as well. The tw I can't freaking do this. And we do have the 2013 Viper GTS. Now, I do wish we had the Viper TA, because that's honestly like my favorite out of all the Vipers. But in today's video, we will be building... We will be building this guy right here. That, that's the 2016 ACR, you know it. Now because drag car, the first thing we gotta do is remove the hecka big wing. A fun fact about this guy is it's actually, I believe it's 76 millimeters wide. The new ACR produced 1,700 pounds of downforce thanks to the carbon fiber body kit. The rear wing is exactly 1,776 millimeters across because America was founded in 1776. That's a little history lesson for you, you fucking Philistine. The Viper was now the sixth fastest production car ever around the ring. Freaking George Washington in bros. Anyways, this thing also has insanely wide tires, 365s. We will be throwing on some drag rims. We will be throwing on the welds just like that. And uh, do we want to have them 20? No. We do also have an engine swap, but we will not be doing that. I bet you that this guy produces more horsepower. This is the Hellcat motor. There is no way that this doesn't produce more horsepower. We do have twin turbo, supercharge, and centrifugal supercharger. Obviously, twin turbo vipers are like the biggest thing. If you've ever seen 1320 video, you know exactly what I'm talking about, bro. These things crank out 18, 19, 2000, 2200 crazy stupid amounts of freaking power, bros. They're insane. So, uh, Obviously, that's not realistic for Forza, but you know, we can dream, right? With full weight reduction, the car is sitting on 2,800 pounds, which uh, is a perk of having the ACR. I believe that is lighter than, well, obviously the ACR stock is lighter than the standard Viper, but uh, I'm not sure after weight reduction. I assume they're pretty similar. Hopefully the ACR is lighter, though. The other day I was watching, I don't think it was 1320 video, it might have been, but it was a Viper ACR with full arrow. This had the wing, the diffuser, 
fully, like, fully spec'd out for the track, right? But this was twin turbo and had 1700 horsepower, okay? The diffuser was almost gone, like, from dragging on the asphalt because it's going so fast, it's scraping and all the downforce, bro, that the diffuser was gone because it was just rubbing off on the, the dang road. So spicy. So with that, we have the Viper fully upgraded. Uh, I believe, I, what, how much power was it soon? You can see we are almost to the top of our class and we are sitting on 1100 horsepower. Dude, look at the power curve to the torque curve. Like we just get so much freaking torque. Ooh, this is gonna be a good one. Now, another reason why I just love this car is not only the fact that I stick, like you cannot get a manual one, right? It's also naturally aspirated, which is insane. To have a car that's naturally aspirated, this is an 8.4 liter V10. That's so freaking big, like that's, that's American all over, you know? For an 8.4 liter V10, that's so much moving mass, and it gets around the ring as quick as it did, like that's insane. We were not able to remove the front splitter, which was producing a crazy amount of downforce. Uh, it is still producing 300 pounds, but it really... I feel like it's not that big of a deal. The rear wing was producing like, you know, 2,000 freaking pounds of downforce, so uh, I'd say we're in the clear. You boys said there was test drive, so if there's not, I'm gonna go in the comment section of the freaking world's fastest drag car video in shun all of you you said there was test drive and there's not okay you lied to me you guys lied to me dang it all right I actually didn't mean to start it I guess we're starting it all right this thing honestly looks kind of weird with no camber Oh my, this honestly sounds so glorious. Alright, we're doing the first run with my audio to a minimal. Oh, dude holy crap dude it's so fast oh my bro are we scraping in the front we might actually have to stiffen the suspension up I'm pretty sure we are just scraping all the way down gonna turn the audio down again yep there we go I'm pretty sure the splitter was dragging the freaking ground uh, but that's it's pretty freaking fast dude Oh my, okay, I wanted to see what we run, see what we get, I want some badges, bros, I have, um, okay, oh, that's nice, literally own every single one of these, you receive 30k, thanks, I appreciate it, alright, let's go, we're gonna eat it straight off the line, Versus an FXXK. Okay, it didn't grip up quite as well. Dude, it's pulling so hard. This honestly reminds me of the Venom GT video. From like 180 to 220, it just pulls so hard. Ah, dude, I wanted to see how many G's we were pulling. 21, that's honestly not good though. Not that great, but we're gonna head online because, you know, now that I can, I'm not staying in solo anymore. That's stupid.
unlimited drift, tag, what a drag, drift. What? I just want drag racing. There we go. Beautiful. Look at how low the guy is sitting in there. Alright, well the guy that's it is right there, but we don't care, do we? Because we just want to drag race. And it actually, like, it goes. It doesn't want a wheelie or anything. Usually my cars, I guess they set the bump stiffness, like, too low or something. They, they, they just want to freaking jump in the sky. But this guy, he's like, nah, fam, I'm good. We're going to pull up the geometer, as I like to call it. Right here, <laughs> the geometer. Oh, great, fam. That's nice. I saw that coming just before it happened. Gosh dang it, bro. You freaking meme. Really? Now this guy's gone. Let's try and catch him at the other end. No, no, no. Okay. This bro freaking pulling wheelies on. Ten out of ten. These people like uh, Need for Speed Payback FTW. You want to maybe like not? Un that is the worst understeer I've ever seen in my life. I could have avoided him, but nah. <laughs> this thing looks so mean, though. Oh, I have the chills. I have the chills, dude. Oh gosh, I'm scared. Someone help you know what's me. Popping, homie? <laughs> All out drag. All right drag rear wheel drag stock drag tune with yeah okay sure drag tune 800 horse okay drag 8.8 8.8 in the mile dude i'll freaking take it let's go let's go i feel like we should actually try and run away Dude, and this guy behind us in the Julia? He knows what's up, bro. Not a big fan of the rims, but the Ju- I don't know what just happened. I'm gonna leave now, though. <coughs> Ooh, psych! <laughs> Like, everywhere except for... <laughs> it just slides literally everywhere. I feel like 8.8's a, a BS number. Like... Alright, boys. Sounds so good. Alright, anyways. We are off in spinning... I really don't know why I went this way. See, I'm not- I was not even giving it gas. We were going like 20 miles an hour and it's friggin' sliding. And look- I say look as that happens. Okay, well, um, I was gonna say, like, do you see what the issue is here? Alright, launch control activated. It sounds so good. <laughs> there is no way that this thing's running eights. I'm sorry, like, it's not possible. Oh.
that Adam is so fast. Bro, I was literally staging up and about to launch. Don't hit me. Yeah, dude, it's just freaking bouncing all over the place. I really don't see this thing running eights. <laughs> I like how he stayed perfectly flat on the ground because of the arrow and we just flew into the sky. That was beautiful. Anyways, boys, that's going to end off this video. I was going to go back and see what our car ran, um, you know, with our tune rather than this other guy's tune. But uh, I've already been recording for <laughs> well over an hour. I hope you did enjoy. If you did, leave a like, subscribe if you're new, check out the Discord, and uh, yeah, links to all that stuff's below. Except for subscribing and thumbs up and all, all button. Just stop talking now. Have a wonderful day. Bye.